Hey everyone, welcome to Old Man Gaming. Remember, if you enjoyed today's stream, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Hello everybody, welcome back to Old Man Gaming. My name is Rob and this is Ark Survival Ascended 30. The series where we ask the question if I was to only play for 30 minutes a day on an official PvP server, realistically, just how far can I actually progress in the game? And, uh... As you can imagine, not very far at all. <laughs> right, uh, I need oil. I mean, I keep been saying that I need oil for a while. I need oil. Um, so, I'm going to go try and get some. Um, Assuming I have a plan. I've been thinking about it. I have a plan. Okay. If I can, let me first, I need to just check a couple of things. Down to the forges. Oh, look at this. Somebody decided to destroy some forges for some reason. go have they destroyed my bed as well no they haven't destroyed the bed right let's just do an inventory check why would you destroy forges i mean they're they're actually helpful to have <laughs> uh da -da -da, we've got a box there that's fine we're gonna go over check the tools Tools. Tools. Maybe missing. Right, we better check the log. We were finding four of them. Fetch, fat, fetch, fat, cap, fat, cap, fat, campfire. But not the tools box. So why can't I see it? I don't think these are... Markers. There we go. Tools are still here. I don't think these markers sometimes are very helpful. Okay, so the tools are still here. Let's move this. This and this out. Okay. Right. 
back up to the forges. something your overwrap to level 10 was killed by Pegamas what oh the roll back how many rollbacks have they done My Overraptor was alive up until five seconds ago. <laughs> oh my god, it came back after the rollback. Right, okay. Uh, I want to fast travel to this bed. I can't believe this bed's still here. Alright, travel to the bed. I, I really cannot believe that that's still there. And everything intact. Right. Just take what I need. And that's still got some beefs left. Isn't that good? Now I wonder if the raft is still here. Should be. I didn't see anything on the on the uh, log about a raft being now there is a lot of activity around here we, as we discovered the other day when we came and we saw oh look there's somebody building somebody something up there we don't have time to investigate I hope the raft is still here. Yep, okay. So what I'm going to try and do, if I can... Let's go get some oil. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Where exactly are we on the map? Far from the mosh pit, are we? Try for the obvious easy oil first, if it's not too cold. And we can actually do it. Look at all these. People have definitely been trying to trap at the mosh pit. Just 
turn the waypoints off for now because we don't need them. Oh, that doesn't turn them off. I wish it did. I mean, the fact that you have to click on them individually, that's a bit annoying. I was just turning the waypoints off on the, on the map, turned them off on the screen as well. It's just a bit annoying having them there all the time when you don't need them. And then, but having to individually click each one off. Okay. I'm freezing. How's that going to do to my health? This is a thing, you see. I'm going to have to watch my health. Because if I'm freezing, I need to not only get in, I need to get in and get out before I die. I don't have a torch or anything with me. It's not going down too badly. Hopefully that's nobody set up guns or anything like that around here. always the biggest danger oh no but there is a Eutrianus that's great one Eutrianus right where I want to be and we don't want that. Come on. I want oil. was a mistake. penguins while we're here but it's not much point at the moment So I'm going to be uh, getting hungry a lot quicker. Right, I've got some oil. It's not a lot, but it'll do for now. Is the Utriana still here? Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's a Carnotaur. 
I'm starving. Let's eat both of those. Because there's plenty of oil along there. But that Carnotaur there and a saber-toothed tiger. And I don't want to press my luck, so... I'm trying not to run so I don't use stamina, so I don't use food. Right, let's get on this raft. Nice, nice little touch that the raft has got snow on it. Get out the hell out of Dodge. Do you see the problem <laughs> I'm going to have, though? I'm going to have to get the oil back to the other base. And that involves a raft trip. Until we get ourselves a bloody flyer of some sort. Oil, grenades... And then maybe if I can make some cryopods, that would be great. And then I can maybe keep... Uh, raise a baby of some sort, you know. Okay, we've got 12 minutes, 12, 13 minutes remaining. Curiosity. I suppose they have to be made out of smithy. Fiber hide oil gunpowder. Metal ingot and stone and have to be crafted as smithy. Okay. So we're going to have to get the oil back to the smithy, which unfortunately is on the other side of the island.
quickly get up to the base. I know we've only got seven minutes. I may not be able to get all the way back to our destination, but Jeez, the graphics on this game are terrible on the S. as far as we can we'll do all that we've got let's go eight minutes of rafting been raided. I don't have a spyglass. It looks a lot, I'm sure that was a lot bigger last time we were here. more structures last time we were here. Yeah, we're not. What I mean about this game is it is so easy to bypass people's defences. It, it's... And it takes a long, long time to build defences, to build guns and to build bullets. It takes a long, 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 long time. And yet, it is so easy to destroy it. And that's where the balance in this game is completely wrong.
question is, will I be able to get this oil actually back? <laughs> to where I want to take it. We may have to relocate, find some metal deposits close by to where we were, but that base, I mean, there are so many bases, there's so much activity around there now that it, it, it doesn't seem like a place that you want to actually try and build anything. I mean, you could try building in the snow area, but that brings on its own issues. You could maybe spend a day just having exploring over there. so hard just even getting so much as a foothold in this game as a solo player let alone when you restrict yourself to only 30 minutes a day difference turning these things off makes to the game. Doesn't really, I mean realistically it doesn't improve the graphics, it doesn't improve the way the trees look or anything like that, but it just gets rid of some of that graininess that you have to look at. It's just, yeah. We've still got about five minutes travel ahead of us. to park up and find a place to hide myself. And we're at 30 minutes now. Seen. 
at all. We are safe. All right. Okay. Okay then. All right. Well, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this uh, episode, please consider hitting that like button for me and uh, subscribe it would be fantastic as well. And um, why not come say hi to me in my my live streams? I do stream art. Try to stream art twice a day, Monday to Friday. Uh, I'm building a zoo. We've got about nine animals left from the island to catch. Just the and put in. Well, I was going to say just the aquatics, but there are some a couple of land creatures left. Uh, and put into a zoo and then we'll be heading over to scorched earth and trying to bring back scorched earth creatures to the island and putting them in the zoo as well so we are getting pretty close to completing the zoo but um yeah come say hi that'd be great but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this until next time stay safe and bye for now